Good afternoon, team. Christy Laskovac here, and Jill's joining us from Ohio. I'm glad you were able to jump on at the very last minute. Um, I've gotten a couple of questions um, about Express Party Checkout. I know that email came across yesterday, which is open now to everybody. I wanted to share a little bit about that. And then today, I think it was today, um, September 1st, there's an email about the disaster relief fundraiser option. And that could have been a couple days ago. I don't know. We got that email. But anyway, um, I just wanted to kind of clarify how that is going to work. Um, I'm going to screen share here because I want you guys to be able to see how to do this. It's basically a Feeding America fundraiser. Okay. You see this, right, Jill? Yeah. Okay. So when you're on your homepage, um, go under my shows and orders, and you're going to create a show. You're going to create a fundraiser show, clearly. And um, they've added this question here pretty recently. So does this show take place entirely online? You may have a host that wants to do something in her house, but for the most part, I'm thinking as consultants are adding these to their current calendar, um, they might just do a virtual online one. You can certainly do that where you're doing it yourself. If you're hosting it yourself, create an event where you can actually post some of the videos, post some of the products and recipes and things, and do it like a virtual party and just remind people during the party that, hey, 30%, um, up to 30% um, can go directly to um, Feeding America right there in the hub of Houston to be able to just minister and um, offer relief to the residents there. So. You're gonna go ahead and put the date in here. And on the email, it did tell you the specific dates that you're able to do these fundraisers for. So if you scroll down, you put the dates, you put the start time. I would put something in here to say 20 to 30% of all sales will go to help the people of Houston, um, something like that. So, and I don't know if you don't realize this show name is here, it is editable, and I always put something like, check out what's new with Pampered Chaff, or something like that. But if you're doing a fundraiser, hey Dawn, we are just talking about this fundraiser opportunity that we have to be able to raise funds for, um, specifically the Houston area, distribution um, centers, to be able to help in that relief effort. So we were talking about, you go up under create a show, or add a new show and you're creating a fundraiser, you're gonna update this to something like, um, let's raise up to 30% to help Houston, okay? Um, and you can just make it a virtual party. Um, you're gonna click this button right here, Feeding America Disaster Relief. Do you see that? They've added a little option. So when you click that, it's going to automatically put this in the um, in the check section, and this is going to be um, this is going to designate so they know when it goes into the home office that this is going to be like the double um, what they earn. And to clarify that, if your sales are less than six hundred dollars, the company normally gives ten percent on a fundraiser, so they'll give twenty. If your sales are six hundred or more, they normally give fifteen percent. And for this one, they'll give 30, which is pretty incredible. Um, and because if you think about it, our products are not inflated. The cost of the products are not inflated for fundraisers. They have the whole catalog open to them. So it's really great, a great opportunity. So um, you can also, if you're gonna do one yourself, and I would recommend everybody do that, if you click the consultant acting as a host, then it automatically fill in everything here. Okay, make sense? To create your show. Do you guys have any questions about this? If you're acting as the host, I'll just clarify. If you're acting as the host, I would recommend, well, two things. Either be prepared, have everything shipped to you, and then you deliver it, okay? Um, you could have the option just to let everybody know that, you know, um, we're going to direct ship everything to their home. Um, they would have the option if they're ordering online, though, to ship to you. Um, and in that case, it might be worth the extra $2, you know, for you to use a consultant gift to pay that extra to have it shipped directly to that person. 
clearly if somebody's out of town, they'll realize that they need to have a little more shipping to get to them. Does that make sense? This is a great way um, to give back. It's a great way to engage people. Maybe you're feeling like, okay, I just had a party or I don't want to ask people to join an event again, but maybe I want to in, um, join this event. What would be another reason why they might want to enjoy or join in on an event? This Anybody know today's September 1st? What happens on September 1st? We have something new today. Jill, you asked me about it in, an e in a question. What do we have new today? You guys see this? New products! Girls, we're in. <laughs> Confused. Are you not hearing me? Can you guys hear me? Getting no reaction. Speak. I don't know. I heard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm looking at you, I see you, but I'm not hearing you. So now I'm kind of worried that you're not hearing me. We have a new products that just started today. We have a new catalog that just started today. So even if somebody orders something from a product, you know, from the catalog yesterday there's new products that they couldn't order yesterday. So that's why this is kind of a good time for anybody to be able to kind of help re-engage. We have new products, we have new catalogs, we have new recipes, even if it's not a live show, we can share some of the new recipes on a virtual event. And we can raise 20 to 30% to help the people of Houston through the Feeding America campaign. Make sense? Okay. Any other questions about the fundraiser and how that works? They made it very easy for us just when you go to um, when you go to do a fundraiser and set up your party, just make sure you check the Feeding America Disaster Relief. And honestly, I'd recommend for every single person on our team, set a, set a link up. I don't know about you guys, but often I'll have people, they'll email me and just, um, or text me or whatever, hey, can you order this for me? And I like to have just um, a generic open party. A lot of times I'll send them an open party that maybe the host is close to a different level. But it's good to be able to send them a link where they can order from a party. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but it's like a dollar cheaper on shipping when the order is attached to a party. Because I think the minimum shipping, if you just order from the website, is $8.25. And the shipping direct to them is $7.25 on a party. Now, if you're having a party where the, the orders are shipping to you, it saves them like $3, right? So you guys could even promote that. If you're not on direct ship now, you could say, hey, you guys, let's raise some funds for the people of Houston. Here's a fundraiser. I'm gonna be, you know, I'm gonna be posting some new products and recipes and product videos. Um, if you order from this link, you're gonna save three dollars on your shipping. Okay, if you do one where it's coming to you, make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So let me stop share on this. Um, now, did y'all get the email about Express Party Checkout? Haven't looked at it yet. Okay, Jill, did you get it? Okay. Ideally, this is for use at a live party, mainly because you're going to get a little code that's specific to your party. And if you set up a catalog party, you will not get the code. Okay, I'm actually going to share my screen again because I want to show you this. Um, okay, so if you're going under my shows and orders, I'm just gonna go to one of my okay let's go here um, there's one on a fundraiser okay so there's a you set up I set up a fundraiser I just did an online fundraiser for JDRF okay so when you go to this part of the um, of the party you know where you can add the orders do you see up here where it says new express party checkout do you see that Yes. 
this is the party code. It's going to be unique for each party. Okay. Now okay. I will update, I will upload this to our page so you guys can just print it off. Okay. What it is, is it basically gives the website, right? And I put it in one of these handy dandy like sheet protectors. They're called, um, I think they're called docu sleeves or docu pockets. Docu pockets, I think is what it's called. But the nice thing about these is that you can write on them with dry erase. So, hold on a second. get me a little eraser here to erase my previous number. So what I do is I just take this with me to all my parties, okay? And then what I'll do, uh, my, okay, I'll use the green one. I don't think the green pen will show up on the green paper. Okay. So what I'll do then is I'll go over to my party. Before I go to this party, I'm gonna put in big letters or numbers, I guess, the code for the party. Okay. Now, in small letters, it just says create your wish list, include all that you like. We'll adjust when we chat before the order is submitted. Complete your contact information, enter your payment, send it to me, then come and see me to finalize your order. That's basically what this says, okay? Not that they're gonna see all that little fine print when I'm holding it up talking to them about it, but I will have this kind of sitting near where we are in the kitchen or, or whatever, okay? Now, I wanna take a minute to talk about how you promote this at a party. I've been um, using this since, gosh, I bet for probably a year trying to remember when the first pilot came out. Um, and I kind of fumbled through a little bit because it was like I kind of would wait till the end of the party because um, I was doing station style parties and I didn't really want people to have their phone, <laughs> you know, the whole time through. Um, and, and there was a few of us in a group and we were kind of all fumbling around a little bit about it. But here's what we found to work well. And there's actually, um, like a training call on it, and I think I'd be able to share that. I need to find the link so I can share that probably in like next week maybe or something. What you do at the beginning of the party when you're doing your opening or your welcoming, right? And do you guys, I, I like to do station style parties myself. So if you're a station style party person, you probably have an opening that you do, and really you should have an opening on any of your live parties, and really even on your virtual parties too. But I like to say something like, Thanks so much for coming. I'm so excited that you guys were able to join us here at Susie's party tonight. Thank you, Susie, for opening your home. We're gonna have a great time tonight. Um, if it's been a while since you've been to Pampered Chef, there's quite a bit that's changed. You're not gonna listen to me talk for an hour. You're gonna kind of um, listen to me for a few minutes. I'm gonna share with you some highlights um, of our my favorite power tools. I'm gonna share with you the stations that we have set up in here. And then you guys get to get hands on and try the products. And it only takes us about 15, maybe 20 minutes to put together some great recipes you'll get to sample. There's also a fun new way that you can order. Um, we don't necessarily have to have those little papers that you write things down on. You can do an online wish list. So go ahead, pull out your phone. I know you all have it probably in your back pocket if it's not in your hand already. So pull up your phone. Um, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go to your browser on your phone. You're gonna go to your browser and you're gonna go up here and you're gonna to go to www.pcparty.com just like it says on the sheet okay and once you go there you'll see a screen and I will say sometimes depending on the Wi-Fi connection or how, however sometimes it'll take some people a little bit longer but for the most part I have this laying out here after I talk to them about that then you'll have a screen. I'm also in my basement, so this might could take a while. Um, but you're just going to tell them. The cool thing about this is once you get to the screen, you're going to enter this party code in. This party code is going to take you to Susie's party. So once you enter that party code in, check the name at the top. Make sure it's Susie. And then 
you'll see what happens. Let's see who has a gun. So you're kind of pulling it up. Let them, let them show you. Say perfect. So as we go throughout, just keep your phone handy as we go throughout and we're using the tools and the products um, and you see something that you're thinking this is really cool and you don't want to forget about it. Just type it in. Just put it on your wish list. Um, what happens is at the end of the evening, instead of having to write everything down, you can just enter your information in there, your, your shipping information, your phone number, um, your, under your payment information, and you're going to send that across to me. It is not finalizing your order. Basically, you'll come and see me, and then we'll talk through. You'll figure out what you want to keep on your order, what you want to maybe wait and get for free or half price when you have your own party, um, or maybe even just put on your wish list for your friends and family to maybe get you as the holidays approach. So that's a fun option too. The cool thing about this is it's totally secure. You're entering your payment and when it comes over to my end, the only thing I see is the last four digits. So it's very secure. And then you can decide again, what to finalize your order. We can choose your free gift if you qualify and we'll be good to go. Okay. Does that make sense? Um, and usually, I mean, I usually do, shows in basements. Usually uh, I'm able to pull mine up pretty good. Sometimes even I've gone to pcparty.com so I kind of have that first screen on my phone before um, before we start. Another idea is you can pull that PC party up on your phone and just do a screenshot of it, of that first screen. I never actually enter the code when I'm doing it at a party. So um, I think I may end up doing that myself. It's just having a screenshot. I can just pull up and say, when you go to pcparty.com, here's what it's going to look like. Um, and it just shows them. Every once in a while, now I will say, I do carry some outside order forms with me, um, just in case. Sometimes you'll have like the grandma that maybe doesn't have a smartphone, which I've had, and that happened before. Somebody, it wasn't, it wasn't like a, a grandma. It was like a mom who just like, can't remember if it got wet or something happened to her phone. So she didn't have it with her. And she used one of her friend's phones, you know, like the phone. So that's option two. But you may, I always like to have some just in case, you know, somebody wants to just use the regular form, which is fine. But the cool thing about this is when they, um, when they do it, actually a couple of people did it on this order. I don't know if you can tell now that it's closed or that they already ordered it. So you're not really gonna be able to tell. But this gal, Sally, happened to order, um, this is a virtual party too, by the way, which sometimes on my virtual parties, um, this is a fundraiser, so it does give you the code. I kind of played around back and forth. Um, some of my virtual parties I was making, as, setting up as a cooking show, because I am sharing recipes and stuff, and I wanted to get a party code, because then they can send me their order, but if they see something they wanna add to their order, I can still add to it. Personally, I am on direct ship now. So if somebody just orders online, their order is directly shipped to them without even waiting. And I know Verna, and I know there's a couple people in our group that are on that direct ship now too. So if that's the case, you might want to use this on a virtual party. If you're not on direct ship now, there's no need to use it on a virtual party because you're not submitting the orders until, um, until the party is submitted. And the idea behind this is to prevent having a long line of people at your parties waiting to be checked out. This is going to alleviate you from having to enter everybody's email and address and phone number. This is going to alleviate you from having to um, type in the item numbers that they want. Literally, when they, when they get, um, and I'll even tell them, I'll say, you know what? Come on, I'll be over here to finalize orders. When you've sent it, when you've sent your order to me, just come on over here and see me. And then they'll come over, and if I don't know their name, I try to always get their name, um, or at least have name tags on. I might say, okay, Dawn, I have your order here. Let's see, come, come over here and sit down. And I might say, um, okay, so you got this and this and this. You know, or sometimes I even said, um, no, you want all this tonight? <laughs> and sometimes they will say yes. And it's interesting because a lot of times you end up, people end up buying more, you know, because if you think about it, if they're adding stuff to their wish list and you're just calling it your wish list, and honestly, I'm kind of going back to even my paper forms, what I'm using is the wish list, they're online, they're now. They have the guest specials on there and they just have blank lines. 
because people, if they know that they don't have to buy what they're writing down, it's not a formal order form, they tend to write down more because they're just using it as a wish list. And then when you see, um, when they see what they're getting or when they're checking out with you, they're kind of like, well, oh, you know, it's my $20. They kind of are weighing around. Oh yeah, just keep it on there. Or they realize maybe they're really close to the $75 level, so they might add something to it. So um, that, in, in the nutshell, is Express Party Checkout. Any questions about that? No. And we will certainly be answering questions, fielding questions. Sometimes, you know, it's like, I don't have a question until I go to try to use it. And then you're like, ah, <laughs> what was it? <laughs> That we were supposed to do. Hi. <laughs> okay. So if y'all do y'all have any <laughs> if y'all do you have questions about anything else like outside of Express Party Checkout or even outside of the hurricane relief? anything I have many emails to read <laughs> well and there have been a lot of emails lately but hold on one second I'm gonna kind of just wrap up I'm gonna end the recording here just want to make sure I get some um, information and I think the screen sharing is helpful when there is things to be able I am a visual person so I like to be able to see where things are so I'm gonna stop this recording so we can post it for everybody that was